you ever do that thing where you put your washing out on the line and you just know it's talking about you and gossiping? This is called wash and tell. <laughs> Last night's scarlet dress, pegged out, is gossiping. Passing my night before, along the line, word by whispering word. She bears a grudge, a smudge of victim. She is a slash of crimson, girl giggling, wind flirting, fabric rippling, whilst my indiscretions, secret sessions, never learn my lessons, are flung from peg to prattling peg, alerting the neighbourhood wash. <laughs> Sheets surge with laughter, nudging beer-bellied shirts, thigh-ripped skirts, catch-a-chill knickers, billowing bras, cheering, leering football short shirts. Did she score? The outpouring flows along a worldwide washing line, becoming a Salford legend, elbowing its way from precinct shame to national fame and Xbox game, because one man came on the scarlet dress. <laughs> he didn't have her permission before he left his mess. And she is not impressed at having her reputation smeared without even a polite request, or at least a suggestion that she might want to leave before he achieves his highly starched condition. Didn't the powder promise to banish all stains and germs, even accidental spillages of sperm in a low temperature spin or a rubber gloved hand job? So no trace of sin can be left. It definitely said that on the box. Whiter than white line. Even with optical brightness, it couldn't eclipse my hard water one nighter or remove all traces from my lady in red, an unwilling victim on an unwashed bed with her fabric softened lips, her even at 30 degrees hips swivelling as she strips down my reputation and spreads it around that I don't do good, clean fun. It makes my colours run for their lives in the sleazy breeze. Next time, I will go out naked and peg myself out to dry. <laughs>